Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might have missed it. I was in a car accident. I'm mostly okay. Vlog is coming soon. I wasn't vlogging in the crash. I didn't have my camera. Basically, I'm not able to do most of the things I usually do, which means I'm able to have more time at home to make videos. So I'm just going to play with makeup for a little bit. And so, as you saw by the title, I'm going to be trying trad goth makeup, which I'm very excited for. I just wash my face and I put moisturizer on. Literally, it's just, it's unscented body lotion. I'm putting that on my face because my skin has still been having issues. Um, let me pull up the inspo pictures for you and I'll be putting them on the screen as well. I'm not basing it off of like one specific picture, I guess, but I'm just using it as the base for my look and I am just using the makeup I already have. Thankfully I already have, I've never used this actually, but it is a Manic Panic White um, foundation. So I'm gonna be starting by putting that on my face. This does hurt my finger because my finger is messed up from the car crash. <laughs> I have never done a makeup look like this, so I'm excited and nervous. Okay. This is um, not very full coverage. I would actually say that this is pretty low coverage, but I don't, let me see, is it? I don't know if it's saying that it's, it's not necessarily claiming to be super pigmented, so this isn't meant to be a diss. Dream Tone Foundation can be used as a tone balance to smooth out uneven pigmentation. Also can be used as a base for a goth white look. So I guess it is supposed to be buildable. So fuck, this might take a while. I also don't know if using a beauty blender is best for this, but it's good I'm learning now because another video I wanna do, which actually one of you suggested, is doing a Chapel Ron makeup look. Also, Lexi is trying to come home early. I don't know if she's going to, but her like her work schedule, my girlfriend, by the way, if you're new here, Lexi is my girlfriend and my girlfriend's a teacher. And since it's the end of the year, she actually went on a field trip. She like chaperoned for a field trip to a trampoline park today, <laughs> but she's trying to go home early since she doesn't really have like anything to do after that. Like there's not normal school schedule because of the field trip. Also, I do think this is patchy, but that might just be because of how I'm blending it. I'm not following a tutorial because I am just not. I think I can do it my own way, so that's what I'm doing. I think I can look at pictures and figure it out. I think this is genuinely the most makeup I've ever put like on my face, period. It's face paint though. Does it count? Does it matter? No. Ultimately, no. What was I saying? Oh, but Lexi is trying to come home early today. And while I of course would love that, I think this will be a surprise. <laughs> I also, I tried to dress up a little for the, for the theme of the video, not fully, but I didn't go super elaborate. I'm bummed because I'm not gonna be able to do like super elaborate fashion stuff until I'm able to like stand and walk properly. Like I am injured by the way, my crutches are off um, off screen slightly, but I'm on crutches for a little bit, which is a bummer because I want to make some, I have several ideas and you guys gave me ideas for like fashion-y videos. And I actually had already been working on a fashion video. And now it's just gonna have to take longer. And I do think I'm gonna switch to a non wet beauty blender to see if that helps. Cause I feel like it's kind of, oh, this looks so Horrific, wow, oh my. I don't know if the water's the problem or, or if it's helping, shit. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this product. It just like dries down. To be fair, my skin is not in its best shape right now, so that might also be a contributor, but it just like dries down really like crusty, which was unexpected because it's a very liquidy product. It's not looking good. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna try this. See, like, I don't know. It just doesn't look like it's actually getting onto my face. I feel like you can't tell. Hold on. Maybe now that I'm closer, 
yeah, you can see like the fucking creasing and patchiness. I don't know what to do about this. Okay, jump scare warning. I know, this looks this looks spooky, whatever. I ended up adding a little bit of this Woma um, concealer in the shade 23. I mixed it with the Manic Panic Dream Tone to kind of like thicken it up because this one is a pretty high um, pigmented product. And then I ended up setting it a fuck ton with this NYX uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Trans Brightening Translucent Mattifying Powder. Let's start to build this area because usually my next step is blush, but there's no blush really in trad goth, so I'm going to grab some brushes. I'm gonna start with the nose contour and then just like work it up from there. This is the Black Swan palette from the Swan Ballet Collection from Flower Nose. I'm taking this lighter gray to start and I'm just kind of like, I'm not, that's not the right brush. I'm basically just gonna try to make like similar, I guess, to how I do my contour. The nose is definitely crooked. Okay, so I am just building up the nose contour and blending it out. I'm trying to be pretty careful, especially with darker shades, because the more you blend them, they can look kind of murky and muddy, which I definitely want to avoid for this look. Going in for the cheek contour, I start by centering like a lot of the gray shade into my cheekbone and then blending it with like an outward an upward circular motion because I don't want to blend too far downwards or else I can make your cheekbones look gaunt which especially since I'm using cool tone shades definitely don't want to do that and then go ahead and bring that down into the jawline area because I don't have the most amazing jawline and then I'm pressing some of the white shade from that palette in to try to help the blending before going back in with the darker shade and just deepening up that area, getting it nice into my hair, and then doing the other side once I like the first side enough, doing some extra blending on my nose, just making sure everything looks good and even, doing the contour on the other side, and adding some more of that white powder under my eyes because it's really creasy and nasty up close. Also then my freaking eyes started to hurt and water randomly. I think I got dust in it. I don't know what happened but i expertly get the friggin water out of it and then we move on like nothing happened okay so now i'm starting the eyeliner and i don't really have a step-by-step -step for you i kind of just wing it um i'm gonna kill myself now but i start by outlining the shape with the kvd um liquid eyeliner if you're hearing banging on it window it's because nobu's trying to come inside i had to close the patio door to record this voiceover i also use the suva black and white like water activated graphic liner and i just build this eye up really until i like it occasionally going in and packing some dark shadow into there and then also working on the eyeshadow just deepening everything and building it all up to really make this eye look look the way i want it to and look concise and also trad gothy so yeah i definitely trust i'm gonna make the eyeliner bigger just give me a sec i think i need to do something more up here maybe i need to do more eyeliner because i feel like with the eyeliner almost looking heavier down here it's kind of looking a little clowny which is not a bad look just not the one i'm trying to do in this video okay I'm gonna do this exact thing on the other side and then I'm gonna come back to see if I need to add more. I'm thinking of adding shimmer. I'm thinking of adding more shadow. I don't know, but I like this enough to where I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, once I got the eyeliner on both sides, I went in with the white half of that Suva liner and I just sharpened things up, added highlights, added some more white in general because there wasn't a lot of it on my face because of that shitty foundation. Um, and then I ended up setting that by tapping in the white shade from the flower nose palette into the white liner so it's less creasy and a little blended better and then of course i do that on the other side and then once i'm done i went back in with the black liner and cleaned up any part that got covered in eyeshadow and then i'm adding some mascara real quick that's just the benefit roller lash and then 
I don't know what lashes the, uh, these are. I literally have no idea um, when, how, why I got them, what brand. I, I don't know. Uh, they also don't really match the look, but whatever. Running some brow gel through my brows real quick. And then I just take my eyeliner, the KVD eyeliner, and I'm not necessarily filling my brows in or trying to cover them. I'm just kind of drawing a brow over my brows. Oh, that looks really good, actually. And then once that is done and looks good, I move on to the final step, which is the lips. I use the eyeliner again because I don't have a black lip liner. And I initially had it in like the trad goth lip shape, but it was uneven. And so I tried to fix it and fill it in with the lipstick that I use. So the lips kind of don't work, but they it's it could be worse. Anyway, this is I got this for free in a Killstar package. They have like their own makeup brand. I don't know what it's called, and I couldn't find the shade name of this. I I read the bottom, but it looks good. And then that's the look. That is how I did that. I think I'm done. It's funny because I was kind of hating. <laughs> it's funny because I was kind of hating this look until I did the lips, but then I needed to fix the lips, and I think I made them a little too big, so I don't know if I like it anymore. But I do like the full look. It all looks just kind of off until it's all literally every piece is on. Because now that I'm looking in the mirror, I don't dislike it as much as I was for a little bit. I don't know if I love it though. I would definitely like to play with this style again. I think I can I can try again now that I've done it before. I want to do the lips differently. I honestly don't hate the eyebrows, but I want to try maybe a different eyeliner. I don't think the lashes that I have really fit the look, but also you can't see them that well, so I don't think it matters. Here is the final look. I'm talking to the camera. But yeah, I'm gonna show you before I wash it off. Or you can come in here. That is so funny. Literally the whole time I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I do kind of want to try again now. Because now that I'm looking at it and I'm seeing where I can improve. So let me know if you want a part two. I won't do it any, like, immediately, but maybe we'll do, like, a retribution round in the future. But that was this video. So thank you so much for watching it. If you liked this video, I hope you did i don't know if you will but if you did go ahead and give this video a like you can comment on the video you can check out my other makeup videos or any other video i make also i know my hair is not amazing but i'm not teasing all like my hair up i'm not doing that i'm sorry bye <laughs>